What up? So this is going to be a topic about um, especially people who purify the mood in channels or an empath. I've noticed that um, when I was working with um, chakras, I get more like an um, intuitive feeling and empathy, like what kind of um, set I am in. So for example, if I have a friend who she's going through mental cycle, for example, you can actually merge or just kind of like frequentize your chakra and see what the person are, and you can always know. If you just randomly um, thought arouse, that's because you can feel that person's chakras. And also empathy would or how they are in terms of their mannerism, emotion, if they are expressing that subtlety. Also for the Meridian channels, I've noticed that when I purify um, correctly with my Meridian channels, if I touch a person, my yin, the, the three yin channels, upper and lower, tend to sing or express the feeling, um, either positive or negative, um, like like um, ecstasy. So I get if I touch a person and I don't, if I'm touching a person and I don't really care, nothing happens. If I happen to touch somebody who has good energy, my meridian channels will instantly, automatically express this tingling. And if I touch it longer, I'm kind of figuring out what's going on, and I get this ecstasy feeling. Now, if I keep liking that sensation, I do like a person, then my chakra will merge and say, uh, hey, this person is really amazing energy, and I'm horny. So I was like, okay, so that's my Muda Hava chakra, so that person is sexually active, or that person happened to enhance my sexual um, energy. Um, this person I, I, I like, uh, but I don't really see it, because I don't want really to know. <laughs> so when I touch her, I get this like hot, um, open heart of chakra. It's like ecstasy feeling. Like I'm laughing, I'm kind of crying ish. Uh, I know it sounds cheesy, so, but I'm pretty much glowing, oozing with this tingling ecstasy feeling in a open heart chakra, and I just want to stay there. It's like ecstasy all at once, but also. You get this peace of mind and this indication that there is much high level in terms of just physical um, touch. So you have this energy feeling and you just want to smile, just be at peace with it because you don't have to do anything. To touch a person, your mood and channels will flush and tingling the whole body and then your heart chakra will boom and you're like, I just gotta touch you. I just had to touch you. Please forgive me. I like your energy. Uh, especially if you like somebody. Oh my god. If you don't like anybody and you touch a person, you do just get that like a low grade um, icebox sensation. Like, okay, this is the mood in China feels like this person has energy. But if I don't fancy you, um, that's fine. I can, I'm, I'm good. It's, so you do able to control how much, what you're feeling. Um, but if you happen to um, touch a person and you're not aware of your empathy, it's gonna kick in. It's like falling in love or having a big crush. Um, but it won't be just that. It actually spreads out to your whole beings of your, all the moody or naughty channels. And it's amazing. So it just, it's like a energetically. Um, uh, chemical romance that's what it feels like and for me anyway and I've as a trainer I, and Qigong um, and a Qigong cultivation guy I've met a lot of people and I've touched people hands shoulders and damn <laughs> every single time it's like repetitive you can duplicate this and you will get this 100% accuracy feeling no matter what so and it doesn't matter if they have a good aura or not I, it just based on your frequencies in terms of like attract like. So if you like somebody, it's just gonna amplify that. If you don't like anybody and you touch a person, 
but you actually would like that person you feel this tingling warmth it's very soothing it's like going to acupuncture's you have this nice soothing flowing going or you're doing tai chi and you feel just uh, meridian channels um that's what feels like it's it's just like watery movement energetically and it's keeps repeating but again um, with the chakra and the meridian channels and impact it makes a huge difference if you can purify your meridian channels or your nadis and you balance out the chakras but control how much you can um, express yourself and also protect yourself so just also make sure that you know enjoy the process but don't give your heart away guard your heart because if you're not careful um, you will be in trouble with your emotion and you so you got to cut the cord or record back or put a shield around you understand that this is what you're feeling but don't fall in love okay so you don't want to go beyond that unless a person happened to like you um, and that's fine as well it's actually become actually amazing I have yet to do that a person I don't touch a person more than um, 30 seconds ish if I'm stretching person I that should disregard my senses I disregard my sixth senses go back to the fifth sense and talk more like a mundane in terms of reality where I am if I happen to forget my my energy really speaks to me. I'm like, oh, okay. So those of you who done Nigong, Nigong, you understand or Qigong. Um, those of you who are massage therapists or empaths, you can, it's like that. But once the, the mood is open, it's, it flush out. It's like you can't ignore it. It's just pure ecstasy. Like Molly. Uh, but there's no downfall. The downfall is that you want to be with that person. Ugh. So, um, if you have a spouse, um, do so. Uh, it's brilliant. So that's why I figure out. So I purify my mood in channels with different methods. Then I touch a person. Well, then I balance out my chakras and I protect myself. So that way, I'm, I have three things to cover me. Then, so I touch a person. I don't care what body part it is. Um, my yin channels, the inside arms and out, uh, inside my legs, the three yin channels um, will automatically then you're actually going to feel amplified in terms of your energy it's like having almost a sugar boost amplifying to your uh, mood and channels then then you actually become tingling to become ecstasy so it's one of those two then actually if, actually if you relax and go with it and you trust the flow then the chakra is like humming then you feel part of the chakra um, express itself so if that person has been free sexual you have that or if you happen to have more loving you feel that it's just it's it's open and you just smile you smoke like so and you don't want to talk much it's not like a down or anything you just want to enjoy the moment of now and so I've been actually flirting with this for a couple months with this girl actually I did not like her until um, huh, until the, the cord attached to me you would think I'd be aware of that already so that's where I'm at right now um, so I just have fun with that and um, I will eventually um, simplify a way to purify mood and channels without doing anything I know it's impossible everyone claim but it's not because I've done it and I've done I have given a, a a, um, a similar tools you know it doesn't have to be you know big or small you can just be this it can actually be like it can actually be this as well I mean it's pretty redundant really because the main goal is to have in your hands and it's gonna it's like an app it's gonna automatically go through your body boom 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 you chill and you just hang out there once you have enough sensitivities how it flows then touch a person but it's very important if you are sensitive especially your impact um, I see things colors so I do see how it flows but I disregard that because I want to enjoy of the touching feeling um, because that's my go-to if I'm not sure and it always tells me that and so I'm curious if I would date this person <laughs> what would it be like so I am fascinated so 
anyway, um, all that jazz, just um, practice uh, purifying the mood in channels, then chakra balancing. You can do Dorn Virtue, you can um, do your own um, mudra, um, chakra balancing, color breathing, um, seesaw bath does help purify the auras so they get more um, clear answer and more um, uh, uh, compression of terms of um, where you are. So the compass it would be more like your navigation, it's, it's clear so you can see where, where you're going, what directions. Um, then the bubble protection or some kind of fire, pyramid, flames, whatever jazz, or enchantment object, whatever, just around you because that way you're not penetrated by other energies, people, um, karmic, um, um, environment. So, yep, that's it. So, so far, so good. Hope for the best um, about this because um, if you do this, you see exactly what I mean. I can't express it now. It just feels bliss. You feel happy. You, I don't have to communicate. Unless you learn telepathy, then you can actually communicate or you can actually pass the cord. Empathy, you can just feel it. It's just not saying it's like crazy. It's, it is more like intense if you happen to have innate abilities of impact um, or you're touchy feely or if you happen to be clairvoyant, you actually can see it and you're still capturing that sensations as well as visual. So I'm not saying it's, it's um, acid, I'm just saying if you see it, you, you see it, then you see what I'm talking about because I see it and I'm like, hmm. So I tend to be more pensive and prudent about my energies because um, it's my energy and I don't like to be uh, manipulated or touch. But surprisingly, I don't have control over this one after uh, 10, 15 years I've actually physically dated a person. Um, so I must be my time. Anyway, um, so that's much it. I just want to discuss about that. And um, if you have any questions, text me or email me. Thank you.